Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you're joining us from. Thank you for finding the Discover Business at the University of Guelph webinar today. We're going to get started in a few moments, so feel free to drop in the Q&A where you're joining us from today, um, and then we'll get started in a few minutes, yeah. If you're just joining us in the call today, welcome. We'll get started in a few minutes. Um, you'll notice in Zoom at the bottom, there's a Q&A feature. Feel free to add where you're coming from today, where you're joining us from. Um, we'd love to see that in our Q&A. So you can find that at the bottom of your screen. You'll also have the opportunity to engage with us in the Q&A throughout this presentation. So if you find that box, uh, it'll be helpful throughout the presentation as well. All right, so it looks like we have lots of people joining us today. Thank you so much for finding us. Uh, I just wanna make sure that you can all hear me. I think we should be good to go. Um, Dr. Walsh, if you wanna mute your microphone um, and then we'll get started. So thank you for joining us today for the Discover Business webinar at the Lang School of Business located at the University of Guelph. We're very excited to share with you today more about studying business in Canada, learning more about U of G. We're going to talk to some current international students and hear their perspective. And then we're going to dive into the admission process and how you can find yourself at the University of Guelph next fall. So I wanna start by introducing myself and who I am. So my name is Alex. I am a very recent Bachelor of Commerce grad. I actually graduated in June, 2023. Uh, I studied management with a minor in French studies. And we'll talk about the ways that you can customize your degree with those ways in this presentation. I also have lots of opportunities to get involved within Lang, and we're going to talk about those as we go through this presentation as well. Um, some of my experience includes working as a teaching assistant. Um, I volunteered on various student associations um, and also worked for the Wood Center for Entrepreneurship, which we will be talking about today as some opportunities to customize and really build your experience here at U of G. And now I'm going to pass it along to some other great presenters we have today to share their stories and experiences. Um, so I'm going to start by passing it to Dr. John Walsh. Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining us uh, on this uh, webinar. My name is John Walsh and I'm the Associate Dean Academic uh, helping to coordinate all the undergraduate programs at the Lang uh, Business School. I look forward to chatting with you and helping you to learn more about the University of Guelph and our school in particular. Kate, I think it's over to you. Thanks, John. Hi everyone, I'm Kate. I work in the Business Career Development Center uh, here within the Lang School of Business. Uh, so I'm a career advisor and I'm also an instructor for a second year course uh, that we provide uh, to get students career ready um, so that you can actively engage with industry during your time here on campus. Um, and I will pass it over to one of our um, international students, Wang, to introduce herself. Hi everyone, my name is Hung. I'm from Vietnam and I'm in my last year of the Management Economics and Finance program with Co-op. Um, I'll pass it on to Jess. Hello everyone, my name is Jess Rubab Singh. You can call me Jazz. I'm currently in my last semester for bachelor's degree and majoring in hospitality and tourism management with Co-op. And I was part of many clubs during my co-op degree. And it's been fun so far. I'll pass it on to Misha. 
Hello, everyone. My name is Misha Kapoor. I am actually a first year student in accounting. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining us today. I would like to pass it over to Astrid. Thank you very much, Misha. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Astrid Morfit. I'm the Assistant Registrar International Recruitment and Admission at the University of Guelph. And my team and I have the absolute pleasure of um, making sure that you are able to make informed decisions about all of your fantastic choices at the University of Guelph to guide you through the application and admission process and make sure that you arrive safe and sound on campus and that you're supported throughout your journey at the University of Guelph. Um, today, what we would like to start off with is to provide you with some information in general terms about the University of Guelph. So we're one of the top five comprehensive universities in Canada. We're a mid-sized university uh, with approximately 27,000 uh, undergraduate students. Of those 27,000 students, uh, approximately 2,000 students are international students who join us from more than 135 different countries around the world. What this means is that we're large enough to provide you with many opportunities, such as various programs and majors that we're going to discuss today, but also facilities, um, research opportunities, and top-notch professors um, and staff to be able to support you throughout this journey that you're embarking on. We also offer more than 200 different clubs and associations, and we're going to chat about some of those as they apply to the business school as well. And lastly, um, we are very much working on providing students with a lot of experiential learning. So that is opportunities not only to get involved, but also to get um, hands-on experience as well as work opportunities on a part-time and full-time basis, which also aids us in the ability to provide you with um, a really solid uh, base to go and look for employment upon graduation. So you can see 92% of our students are employed within six months of graduating from the University of Guelph. So when it comes to our location, we do have three different campuses. I'm not sure if you're aware. So the University of Guelph, which is where we're joining you from, is in Guelph, Ontario. Uh, we're approximately an hour from downtown Toronto. We do have uh, the University of Guelph Humber campus in Toronto and Ridgetown campus in Ridgetown, Ontario. So a number of different options for you to consider. What does it mean to be an hour away from Toronto? It means that we're our own community. We have a lot of support systems and a lot of great opportunities for you to get involved on campus and within the city of Guelph. But also if there are any sporting events, if there are any uh, plays that you would like to join or anything that's going on in Toronto, you're only an hour away. And we do have direct uh, buses that will take you from our campus to um, Toronto as well, as well as the Pearson Airport. So if you're flying to come to us or you're flying back home to visit your family and your friends, uh, it is very accessible. Uh, in addition to that, we're about 90 minutes away from Niagara Falls. So if you have heard or um, have had the pleasure of seeing Niagara Falls, even in pictures, videos, or in person, you know that it's definitely a place to visit. Um, so it is um, accessible and it just provides you with a lot of things that you can do that are close by, um, in addition to really joining our close-knit community where you can thrive. So I'm going to pass it off back to Alex um, so that we can get into all of the really important things uh, pertaining to the Bachelor of Commerce program at the University of Guelph. Yeah, so if you're joining us today, you're likely interested in studying business in the future, and that's really what we're going to dive into today in our content, looking at the Bachelor of Commerce program within the Lang School of Business at the University of Guelph. Our Bachelor of Commerce program is incredibly successful. We have a really strong student network, strong faculty to support your success, and really it's a cutting edge program designed to prepare you for a world that's constantly changing. So you have the tools you need to succeed both during your time in university and beyond when you go out into the workforce. So let's start by talking about who we are at the Lang School of Business. So at the, at the Lang School, we really believe in developing leaders who use business as a force for good. Um, so that's really core to who we are, sustainability and ethics. Um, we really focus on modern, applied, and hands-on experience. So giving you the opportunity to practice what you're learning and really apply that beyond the textbook or the quizzes or any of those types of elements. Uh, I also wanted to showcase the photo in this slide, which is actually of McDonald Hall. It's the home of Lang Business and it's one of four business buildings within the University of Guelph. 
I also want to emphasize the trust that you can have in our program, given that we're AACSB accredited. So out of thousands of business schools in the world, only 6% of business schools have this designation. And it really speaks to the quality of education that we can provide for you. Um, so no matter where you're choosing to study, it's very important to look for an institution with integrity that you can trust. And that is really developing a well-rounded curriculum for you to succeed. And that's what you can find here at Lang. So within this, we have we want to talk to you about our future you advantage, which is what Lang is really focused on, not only looking at who you are today, but who is future you and how can we help you to get there. Um, so it really has three different pillars that we're looking at. So the first one is expertise. So we want to make sure that you're future focused, you're learning from faculty with both industry and academic experience, so that you get that practical and that kind of theory approach to what you're learning. And then also really looking at working hands on with case competitions, analyzing real businesses, and then some other tools for you to learn those skills, which we'll be talking about more throughout this presentation. The second pillar to this is being career ready. So not only do we want you to have a positive experience when you come and attend at the University of Guelph, but we wanna make sure that you are very successful once you're going to seek employment and that you have all the resources and skills that you need to land the job that you're dreaming of. Um, so we have all those available. We also have co-op available with every BCom major, which we're going to talk about. Co-op gives you hands-on paid work experience. So definitely something to highlight that we're going to walk you through today, as well as our business career development center, which is exclusive to Lang students and provides you with many more resources to support your job search and networking opportunities, which we'll be talking about today. And then the third pillar there is being a global leader. So again, looking beyond the classroom, how can we give you hands-on life experience to have practical and tangible skills to showcase to employers um, when you're choosing your path after graduation. Um, so today we're also going to talk about our thriving student life, all the opportunities for you to get started and how you can really build on that experience um, to leave with future you at the end of it all. And now I'm going to ask some of our current international students some of a little bit about their experience. So why they chose the University of Guelph and Lang in particular. Um, how did you apply to U of G and what was your experience through that whole process? So we know today that we really want to bring the student kind of focus to the front of this. So you're going to hear lots from students throughout the different components of this presentation. So I'm going to start by asking Misha this question. So do you want to talk a little bit about your experience applying, why you chose U of G um, and all of that fun stuff? Yeah, of course. So actually, ex exactly a year ago, I think I was attending one of University of Guelph's uh, international webinars. Uh, but I applied to University of Guelph through a counselor, actually, because I know as an international student, it can be very challenging. And for me, it was overwhelming to do so much research about so many different universities. And uh, it was the fear of applying to the right university, right program. So my recommendation is that, so I applied through IDP actually. Uh, it's completely free of cost. Uh, I'm from India, but I was raised in Saudi Arabia. I had the opportunity to do it in both the countries. So if you have the chance to look at that, I would recommend that. And um, there were concerns like finding the right program, the campus, food, because I know as an international student, the smallest of things matter a lot. So when I looked into University of Guelph, attended a webinar like this, I realized that the campus is great. The stu student opportunities are great. I'm somebody who loves getting involved in volunteering opportunities or clubs. And only two months into the university, and I've already gotten the chance to interview for so many associations. I volunteered. Uh, so yeah, these were a couple of the factors that I looked into. There were also other universities that I applied to, but I chose the Lang School of Business, the University of Guelph, because of their business program. Like I'm in the accounting co-op program, and it's not very usual that I think first year students get the co-op program, but I know that University of Guelph uh, offers that opportunity. So yeah, that was one of the main reasons that I applied. That's great. Thank you so much for sharing with us. I'm now going to pass it over to Jazz to share a bit about your experience. Thank you, Alex. So I'm from Punjab, India, and I also applied through a counseling service there because as Misha mentioned, it's very difficult to get everything done. And I was also at the same place attending the online webinar where I got to know more about the program. And I chose Guelph because of their co-op program, I believe it's it's a really unique program that they offer. And I'm really happy with it actually, because it's also one of the best hospitality schools within Canada. 
and I also wanted to be in hospitality. That was one of my major reasons why I chose Guelph. And application process was fairly good, I'd say. And I was well supported throughout. Great, thank you. Yeah, I think that theme is coming through, using your resources to navigate this process. Um, for sure, no one is saying it's necessarily easy, but we do have the resources and tools there to support you with that. So whether it's talking to an agent or a counselor or connecting directly with us at U of G, lots of options there for sure. Huang, would you mind jumping in and sharing a bit about your experience as well? Yeah, for sure. So I think um, my first priority was finding a school that fits my budget. And well, it's a smaller city than, say, Toronto. And so the living cost is lower. So that is really attractive to me. And the second point was that I wanted to do a core program because I want to get uh, work experience during my degree just to know what kind of job that I want in the future and establish my network in Canada. And Lang offers that, which not all business schools in Canada does. And then the third um, priority for me was finding a uh, location. So as mentioned, Wealth is pretty close to Toronto. So I found it pretty convenient to go to Toronto just for networking events or meeting professionals in the industry. Um, so yeah, that's why I chose well. Thank you so much. That's great to hear. And I think Really what we love to emphasize is that the University of Guelph is a beautiful campus with convenient access to all those places you may wanna go, um, but you can still enjoy all the amenities and the comfort of that community feeling on campus for sure. So with that, I'm going to pass it along. So we'll start talking about that first pillar there and I'm gonna pass it over to Dr. Walsh to talk about that. Thank you, Alex. So let's deal with that uh, first pillar there. Uh, the future you, where you're going, uh, with your career and the kind of expertise uh, that we have. Basically, uh, here's what uh, uh, we offer. Uh, it's a five-year degree if you're going to use co-op so that we can get good work experience built into your program. And every semester is 12 weeks, uh, 12 weeks long. You have a choice of uh, electives, so you can customize uh, your degree to quite a considerable extent. And I think as the uh, students have emphasized, uh, uh, the, our focus really is on a combination of effective theoretical grounding in uh, business, along with experiential and applied learning in real companies in real time, which will build uh, everybody's uh, uh, CV and resume. Would like to make a mention of uh, the co-op again. Uh, that is an extremely uh, well-supported part of our uh, program over many years. And if you are going to move forward with an application to our business school, please indicate right at the beginning uh, your uh, interest in uh, co-op. Don't wait until you're admitted. Apply directly as we go. Slide. We have nine majors. Uh, business is a very, very diverse field. As you can see from uh, the slide, and one of our students here is in accounting. Uh, uh, management economics and finance management in a general sense marketing uh, extremely uh, popular and some very very focused uh, industry specific uh, majors where we have a great combination of applied faculty in industry connections most particularly in real estate sport and event management which is uh, new and growing for us one of our traditional areas is in food and agriculture, but we also have a major uh, where you can specialize in government uh, and economics. Again, as uh, one of our students here has already uh, identified, uh, we have an extremely well-regarded hospitality and tourism management program. In fact, the oldest in Canada uh, and absolutely a leading school with international scholars. Slide. 
today, what we, we find is that our kind of combination of applied learning, work experience, co-op, and the theoretical grounding produces industry-focused specialists. There is a big emphasis on our analytics capability and sustainability, which is the hallmark of our school. And I think it is fair to say uh, that uh, the different places that I have worked in my career, uh, team-based learning and a supportive environment encompasses all students at uh, Lang. Mention has already been made of uh, case studies and case competitions right from the very, very first year of entry. This puts our students in direct contact with the chief executive officers, vice presidents, senior executives uh, in a wide range of uh, case study situations where presentation skills are honed uh, and we have multiple uh, opportunities for international, uh, in fact, in all, all students. Some of the things you will learn about later in this presentation, uh, some of the types of co-op uh, uh, terms that our international students uh, uh, can uh, experience. Leading companies such as PepsiCo, Royal Bank of Canada, uh, leading consulting companies are all regular visitors uh, to Lang Business School. Uh, the picture you see here is actually a commerce uh, graduate uh, who completed co-op terms at both Toronto Dominion Bank, very large bank in Canada, and PepsiCo. Uh, he's currently gone on to do a master's degree in digital marketing. Slide. Let me introduce you to uh, Toygar from Istanbul, Turkey, marketing. Personally, he made over $120,000 over the course of his program. In, he enrolled in Canada so that his aspirations were to work for Porsche. He was hired immediately after graduation in digital uh, sales and marketing. One of the areas where uh, we are ad advancing along with other business schools uh, but one of the areas we are advancing in our curriculum uh, is particularly concerned uh, with uh, uh, digital sales, digital marketing, and analytics. Um, Tiger, you'll find, credits much of his academic and career success to the support he received from his professors. Uh, our professors are fully engaged with our students. It's not just attending classes. It is a full experience uh, with, uh, with our uh, faculty. Slide. Slide. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about the second uh, pillar about future you is career ready because that is the purpose of the entire uh, degree. So let me turn this over now uh, to discussion of career readiness at Lang. Thanks, John. Uh, before I get started, um, I'd actually like to just throw it back to the students and ask a little bit about their classroom experiences. Uh, Jazz, would you like to start and um, share with us a little bit about your time at Lang? Yeah, sure. So I'd say the experience at the classes was really good. There was a mix of, in, in my starting years, it was like much bigger lectures, which were then supported by small seminar sessions. And as I've moved on in my degree, the sessions are much smaller. I really like, I want to talk about one of the courses that I had. So it, it was called the HTCC Hospitality and Tourism Case Competition. And then in that, students applied that as a course. In, and in that course, we, three schools, three hospitality schools competed. And we were put in, into the teams and professors gave us direct guidance throughout the whole semester. We met each week, prepared 
three hour long cases and presented it to them and they gave, gave us the direct feedback how to improve. And one of our teams actually placed the position as well in that hospital in that case, competitions out of three other universities. So I'd say that was a pretty memorable course that I've ever taken here. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Wong? Yes, so I agree with Jazz. So the first year's uh, courses are a little bit bigger in size. And then as you get uh, to the later years, the class size getting smaller and the content that you study is more specialized to your major. So uh, one of the classes that I really enjoy right now is called Business Consulting. So basically I am grouped in teams uh, with my classmates and we act as consultants for a real business in wealth. So we got, we got to tour the facilities of the business. We got to meet the owner. And then we also have uh, guest speakers weekly to discuss just different topics related to the uh, consulting industry. And uh, then my professor, Tanya, is a very seasoned and respected industry professional. So she has lots of great insights to share with the class. And uh, right now, I'm also a teaching assistant for Measurement 1000. So I have over 40 students in my weekly seminars to teach. And it's a very fulfilling and sort of a, a full circle moment for me. Thank you. Um, those are both really great examples of how um, our degree allows you to engage with industry and start making those connections so that you can be planning for what happens next. Uh, so the next pillar that I'm going to talk about is the future you is career ready. And um, we're here to support you in that. So I mentioned that I work in the Business Career Development Center. Um, and our whole goal, or your whole goal in completing your undergraduate degree is to gain experience, test things out, learn more about what you like and what you don't like, and determine how you want to contribute to the world. Um, so some ways that we support you in doing that. Um, as I mentioned, our services are exclusive to business students. So they are specialized in this degree area and all of the majors that we offer. Um, we have access to a number of industry collaborative events, um, and including employer information sessions and law, large job fairs each term that I'll touch on in a little bit. Um, we also have access to mentorship. Uh, we have a strong uh, foundation of Lang alumni across many industries. Um, and they come back, I have, a, I have a Lang alumnus coming back to speak in my class next week to talk about how they got from undergraduate degree to where they are now um, as a VP for a large bank in Canada. Um, so that's just one example. Uh, case competitions, we touched on those a little bit at the beginning. Those are a great way to gain experience, build those connections. And we also provide financial support for taking part in those. Um, in addition, something that is very unique to Lang is we have a second year course that is a degree requirement that helps you develop your professional job search toolkit. So your resume, cover letter, LinkedIn profile, and practice engaging for with employers during the interview process. Um, we also provide one-on-one -on -one support through career advising sessions uh, with myself or a colleague. And um, we have found that this support and this foundation during those four or five years has led to um, a really uh, high employment rate of 96% of jobs within the first two years of graduation. And we have very strong relationships with some of the companies listed at the bottom of this slide. In addition, particular to uh, for support for international students, uh, we've recently established a new partnership with a platform called Devant, and this is all about helping international students um, work and succeed in the Canadian labor market. Um, so we uh, collaborate with them in hosting a virtual job fair every year where the employers coming specifically want to um, hire international students who are uh, launching their career in Canada. We also have tailored career supports around navigating the Canadian job search process it is very unique and there's a lot of nuances that that are important to know uh, in order to be successful and also about marketing your international experience as the strength that it is we make an effort to um uh, build relationships with employers who align with our vision of um 
promoting business as a force for good. And as part of that is a very diverse workforce. So we engage with employers that value that as a priority for their business and uh, foster those relationships. Um, I mentioned career fairs. So we have, this is just a photo of a large one that we offer every term um, that will have 40 plus employees at it. Um, and it's an opportunity for students to get some one-on-one -on -one face time with recruiters and big companies that are hiring our graduates and for summer opportunities in co-op. Um, we also have one each year that's specialized to accounting. Our program is accredited by CPA Ontario and you are getting those um, undergraduate prereqs requisites to go on to complete your CPA. Uh, so we have a lot of strong partnerships in that area. Uh, next, I'll talk a little bit more about our co-op program. So on this slide, there's an example of um, the co-op sequencing um, for if you are applying to a co-op program. We do recommend that you apply directly to co-op um, when you're applying. There is an opportunity to apply in first year, but it is more competitive. And it's nice arriving at the program, arriving in Guelph, and your first year being focused on um, your academics, um, getting used to living in a new environment, and you don't have to worry about this competitive process for co-op at that phase. So that is something that's very unique at Lang is that you can apply directly to co-op in all of our nine majors and have your position secured so that you know um, you're in the co-op program. Your first year, like I said, is just about um, focusing on the academic side of it. Um, your first summer is an off semester. And then in your second year, you start preparing and engaging in the job search so that your first work semester after second year takes place. Um, the accounting program is a little different from this. They actually go out to work in the winter of their first semester because that's when our accounting partners really need people during the busy tax season. Um, so that group goes out to work one semester ahead. Um, but this is a good example of what um, other programs would, would go through. Um, and on the other side are just an example of a, a random selection of some employers that have traditionally hired, hired through us through the co-op program. As you can see, these are well established, reputable companies, um, and we have really good relationships with them. Um, one other thing I did want to mention um, is just about pay. The other advantage of co-op is that you can be making money while you're while you're going through your degree. So on average in the BCom, um, the salary rate is anywhere between $15 to $30 an hour for a junior student. So in your first co-op. But as you get to go through the co-op process and get into your second, third, fourth work terms, that can go up to anywhere um, in the range of $20 to $40 an hour. So it is a significant amount of money that you can be making um, during those co-op work term semesters where your sole focus is working full time for a 16 week period. Uh, one last thing I did want to mention is just in addition to the Business Career Development Center, we also have the John F. Wood Center for Entrepreneurship. And if you are entrepreneurial minded at all, interested in starting your own business, you are well supported. There's funding um, and mentorship available for our students to establish their business idea and take it to the next level. We have um, over 150 startups that have launched out of the Wood Center and have uh, been successful and um, are great stories about how our, an idea has come to fruition and developed into a profitable business. Okay, so I'm going to pause there and uh, get back to our students to hear a little bit more about their experiences. Um, but uh, getting or, or sorry, uh, all of them, I think, have been in co-op. So I'm going to go back to Wong to talk about you're a MIF student. Um, if you could talk a little bit more about your experience in the co-op program. Yes, for sure. So I've done five co-ops and four of them were at the Royal Bank of Canada and the last one was at a pension fund. And all of my roles have been in finance, investments, which are my career interests. So it's been really nice. And uh, throughout these experiences, I've developed a lot of skills. I have improved a lot, both in terms of my professional and personal development. I've established a really good network of industry professionals that I could um, 
you know, exchange ideas with and ask for help throughout my career. So it's been really good. And uh, my co-op advisor, Ian, is an amazing person. He really cares about the students. So throughout all of my work terms, he has always been very um, transparent, very uh, he, he reaches out to me all the time. He reached out to my employer to check in once in a while to see my experience. And I really, really appreciate this. And uh, if I got to choose again, I would definitely still choose to do the core program but it, because it's been so um, you know, critical to my development. Thank you. I'm really glad that you brought up Ian. That's something that I... Um want to mention is when you're in the co-op program, you are well supported with a co-op coordinator who specializes in your major specifically and helps with anything that might come up along the way, supporting you in your job search um, and builds relationships with employers. So you can get a little bit of insight into what these roles have been like in the past and um, what they might be looking for and and all of those great things also just an interesting story uh your name came up the other day when i was meeting with that vp from a large bank they were so impressed with you and your networking skills and how you represented the university um, and that's something that we're often recognized for is um, uh, employers and alumni will say um, we hire Guelph students because they're collaborative and they're the type of people that we want to work with. Um, so I just thought I would mention that. Okay, Jazz, over to you. Yeah, I want to mention about the, the program that you were talking about, Katie, that every student has to take that development course. So mm -hmm. I think that was really helpful for me because that helped me to build my interview skills and the resume. And I worked my two of my co-op work terms at Killarney Mountain Lodge, which is in Killarney. I worked there as guest services agent and I also got the experience to work in other departments. And then one of my last co-op work terms, I worked at Days, Days In and I worked there as a night auditor, which, which was also a great experience to have. I also want to mention before that, like before even starting the co-op terms in my first summer, I came to Katie to help with my resume while I was trying to find a part-time job. Then she helped me with my resume with the Business Career Development Center. It's not just the co-op, it's throughout whenever you want. They help you with the resume and interview skills. And while I was finding my co-op, we were heading right into COVID, which was a big hit on hospitality industry. But I think it's only due to the connection that our school has with our alumni, I was able to find my co-ops. So I was pretty happy to have a co-op program. Thank you, Jazz. Um, great point there too, as you are supported beyond the co-op program. And we often meet with new grads who are deciding on career opportunities, um, want some help with the application. So the service is here to support you beyond co-op and your time as an undergraduate student. Okay, I'm gonna pass it back to Alex. Great, thank you so much, Kate. That was really great to hear that insight. I know I used all of those services as well when I was an undergraduate student um, navigating those pieces. The one thing I wanted to mention as well is your path is not always linear and it's not necessarily only one path that you can choose within your degree. So it's okay to switch majors if you realize that something's not working for you. Or for example, I started in the co-op program and then I found so many opportunities on campus to get involved um, that I decided it wasn't the right fit for me because I had so many other networking opportunities through Lang. So there are lots of ways to customize your experience and build it in a way that works for you. Um, so you've heard a lot about the co-op program, which is absolutely incredible, um, but we also have other ways to build a degree so that no matter what you're really interested in, we can tailor that to you as well. And then we've talked a lot about kind of what we can do for you, but I want to talk more about kind of in the broader sense, Future You is a global leader and how we really make an impact in the world as a whole. So this is the third and final pillar. Um, and again, really looking at who we are on a global stage. So I want to start by emphasizing that sustainability is core to who we are. You've heard businesses, of course, for a good multiple times, and that truly runs through everything that we do. Lang is ranked number five in the world, not just Canada, for sustainability. So I think that really shows our expertise in that area, 
employers and companies come to us for advice and guidance. Um, our experts are always advising on those topics and that really speaks to who we are. And it also means that you gain that experience within your degree because you have those experts right here at Lang. Um, so we're focused on that topic, looking at environmental and sustainable solutions to some of the world's greatest challenges. We know business is a force for good and business is pivotal to creating that change. And we wanna be at the forefront of that. At the same time, we know that employers want employees who understand those topics and can contribute to those conversations. So when we're setting you up here in your studies, you're already prepared to have those conversations from day one, whether it's in a co-op opportunity, a part-time job, or when you're seeking something after graduation, you have all those skills and you're well equipped to talk about that. One of the greatest starting points for getting involved and in finding those opportunities and networking is to join different clubs and student groups on campus. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that. We have over 100 or 200 student groups available for you. Lots of leadership opportunities there. So whether it's running an event for the first time or building a marketing campaign or connecting with other students to make friends and make those connections, it's all built into our program as opportunities for you to add on. Uh, open to all students and then lots of Lang exclusive opportunities as well. I also wanna mention briefly that we do have a really strong study abroad program. Um, you're likely already coming internationally, but if you did wanna build out your program a little bit more and add more experiences, that's also an option for you to diversify your knowledge. So whether it's doing a semester abroad in Europe or somewhere else in the world, lots of opportunities there and we're happy to support you with that as we go through your way. On the next slide here, I just want to talk a little bit about the hands-on experience. We've already talked about case competitions, um, but I really wanted to emphasize the importance of those. It's gaining that real-world experience, those practical applications, and what Dr. Walsh talked about, presenting to actual executives. I have friends who in first year competed in case competitions and landed their co-op jobs from executives who watched them pitch their presentations. So it's a very realistic path, and it's definitely an option for you to consider. Um, so some of that happens in our classes, so you're competing against other students within your class. Um, you may be doing larger ones with the entire business school as opportunities. Um, one of those, for example, is the Lang Sustainability Conference, where we have a case competition specifically focused on sustainability and using sustainability as a solution to business. Um, so great opportunities there. And then on an international level, you may have opportunities to compete in case competitions. I have friends who have gone to Europe to compete on behalf of Lang in other parts of the world, so lots of opportunities there for you to extend that knowledge and really showcase who we are and the skills that you've learned throughout this. The image on the screen that you see here is actually from a case competition organized by the Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment, um, which is home to some of Canada's largest sports teams. Um, so this is a team within Lang that we have competing. Um, I actually happen to know all of these students. So we have Simone, Samir, Krish, Nick, and Sharon Deep, all very involved students who had lots of opportunities because they went out and found those. Um, so they competed in this against 50 other Canadian business schools, and they actually placed in the top three. So that really speaks to the knowledge that you have, the way you can apply it, and then you can actually achieve success. Um, I know there's oftentimes employment opportunities associated with those, landing co-op jobs, gaining that industry experience. And again, it's about making yourself very employable after graduation. And on the next slide here, we're just going to look through some of the various opportunities that you can get involved with. So these are all student clubs that exist specifically within Lang. So they're targeted to business students. They offer opportunities either within your major or by interest to explore some of those different passions um, and lots of different opportunities here. So we have one for every single major. So if you're in accounting, you could join the Accounting Students Association. Uh, I was in the management major and I was in the management student association. So I had an opportunity to get involved there. And this is all organized by our overall Lang Students Association. So this is an opportunity for all Lang students to get involved, we create merch for students, we run events, um, lots of great networking opportunities within that. I always stress the importance of getting involved during your undergraduate degree because it gives you the opportunity to make those connections, not just with employers, but with upper year students who may have done a similar path to you, they may have advice and guidance. By gaining those skills, I know right in first year I joined a club and I was already receiving so much feedback and advice and tips on how to be successful um, and truly networking with other students and hearing their story helped me to be successful within my degree. Um, so I did the Lang Students Association for three years. Um, I got promoted each year, which was a really great opportunity. So starting as a brand ambassador, then I was a manager of events and then a director of events. 
So I got to plan large scale events for the business community um, and for the larger U of G community as a whole. So we have some other great, very involved students on the call here as well. So I wanna pass it over to them to share a little bit more about their experience getting involved beyond the classroom because that's really what this is all about. So Misha, um, I know you're just getting started in first year, but I'd love for you to share a little bit more about how it's been just getting started. Have you been able to find those opportunities? Have they been valuable? And really, what's that experience been for you? So it's actually only been two months in Canada, two months in the university. And I don't think that I was expecting to get involved in so many different events and opportunities. What I love about the Lang School of Business is that they have a diverse range of opportunities. So for example, I've always been very fond of public speaking and presenting, which is why I got the chance to interview for the Lang engagement team. We basically present business challenges to high schools virtually. I know a couple of my friends who are fond of content creation, so they are part of the content creation team at the university. I have also interviewed for the Accounting Student Association, and um, it's not because I'm in accounting, I can only apply to accounting, I know that I have the opportunity to apply to other uh, associations as well. Uh, I've also volunteered. Uh, Alex, I remember doing a photo shoot with you actually for the international students, I think two weeks ago. And uh, as Kate had mentioned earlier, there's also multiple uh, career fairs and recruiting events. I have already attended three. So uh, yeah, my experience has been great so far and I'm only moving forward with this. That's great. Yeah. And I think it's it's right from when you get started at U of G that we start presenting those opportunities. So when you first come to the University of Guelph, we have orientation week. So we have Start International um, as an international student to help you navigate your pathway into Canada and kind of what that experience is like once you've arrived. But then we also have orientation week for all first year students, which is where you gain opportunities to meet new people, kind of set that foundation before it gets started. And we really bring in those student clubs right there. So right within your first week or few weeks of being on campus, you'll be meeting meeting those student ambassadors and gaining those opportunities to see how you might fit into this, this great list of opportunities here. I'm going to pass it over to Jazz now because you've had some more opportunities to get involved over the years and I'd love to hear more about your experience with that. Sure, Alex. Yeah, I've had plenty of opportunities to get involved within clubs. I was, I started with the hospitality club that we have on campus and I was the merchandising associate for them and then I moved my way up. Now I'm the co-director for one of the portfolios that's like another club they, that they have within associated towards hotels and we organize tours for the students and networking opportunities. I also want to mention it's not just the field that you're studying in. So I was interested in learning more about the line dancing that was pretty unique for me. So I joined one of the junior farmers club, which is not related to my field at all. However, I learned to line dance last winter. And then we also competed and it was so much fun. It's like, it's not just one of the clubs. You can choose multiple ones that you want. And I think you should definitely get involved if you get the opportunity to. That's great, thank you. And I just wanted to follow up on that because I'm curious, when you've been looking for jobs and doing that career search, have you found it helpful to have those experiences and how, how have employers kind of received that involvement when you're going out there to find jobs? Yeah, so it's definitely been really helpful because I was able to build direct connections because if I was participating, holding those events where we invited the job like the people who are actually working in the industry to share their experience i was able to build direct connections with them not only that it also helped me in you know taking more responsibility which actually showcases that you're willing to learn and employers are looking for that and it also helped me in you know team working and so many other skills that i couldn't have learned just by studying 
That's great to hear. Thank you so much for sharing that. I wanted to emphasize as well the point that you made about the variety of clubs. So the ones that you're seeing on the screen right now are specific to Lang, but we also have lots of clubs and opportunities specific to international students. So we have our international student organization, um, and then we also have one specific to regions or parts of the world. So whether it's the Middle East, Eastern Student Association or the Indian Student Association or the Caribbean Culture Club. Those are all different opportunities and we really have them for all different parts of the world as well for you to meet other students who may be navigating a similar path um, and again finding that wisdom and that advice as you go through your degree. So lots of great opportunities there. And now that you've heard lots about U of G, I want to pass it over to Astra to share a little bit more about the next step so that you can really find yourself here next fall um, and what you need to do to complete that application process and some important things to know. So over to you, Astrid. Thank you very much, Alex. So uh, earlier on, I mentioned that we are a mid-sized university, which allows us the opportunity to really provide you with so many different choices and fantastic ways to get involved, not only academically, but also through our 200 and plus different clubs and associations. Um, there are also very uh, important ways for you to, to learn because attending the University of Guelph is not just about getting your degree. It is really about discovering the, the future you and realizing your potential and also meeting like-minded people, learning from other students on campus from all over the world and really just having the best opportunity to be the uh, well-rounded person that you will be upon graduation. So in order to all do all of that, um, of course, we need to figure out how you can fund your education. So in regards to students who are international students or international fee paying students, uh, that means that you will be applying for a study permit in order to attend the University of Guelph. The international entrance scholarships will apply to you. Um, these do not require an application for the scholarship, but you of course need to apply to the University of Guelph first. Um, at the time of your application, we are, as Dr. Walsh uh, mentioned earlier, encouraging you to apply to the major as well as the co-op option if that's of interest to you. So you're not applying just a general Bachelor of Commerce degree, you're actually selecting your major as well as selecting if you wish to complete the four-year honors degree or the five-year co-op degree. Um, at the time of your application, if you're eligible for an offer of admission, we will automatically consider you for what are called the entrance scholarships. So international entrance scholarships, as outlined here, are for students who are um, international fee-paying students on a study permit. In first year, we will have amounts from $55 to $8,500 that will be assigned to you based on your grades. And then there is an opportunity for a renewal of $4,000 in year two, three and four, if you maintain 80% average in each of those school years. So these do not require an application. We do also have an equivalent of the domestic scholarship. So if you're a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident applying from anywhere in the world, we will consider you for the domestic version of these. In addition, uh, if you look towards the bottom, we have other international scholarships, which also translate to domestic scholarships as well. These are the more higher end, uh, higher ticket value ones, um, especially the Dr. Franco J. Vaccarino scholarship. So this one requires you to apply to the University of Guelph, be admissible to the University of Guelph, also apply for the scholarship separately, and the deadline is January 25th, 2024, and provide information in regards to your extracurricular activities, leadership involvement, um, as well as references from your teachers, your school counselors, and uh, former employers if you have had an opportunity to get involved. As I mentioned, we also have the domestic version of these and uh, the application deadline is the same, which would be uh, January 25th, uh, 2024. Now, in order to help fund your education, we talked about different options. So um, co-op, of course, being one huge highlight. Um, on average, students will earn approximately $16,000 per co-op term. So that means about $80,000 over your five-year co-op degree. So it is definitely important uh, to, pull up, uh, to apply for co-op. If you're eligible to co-op, you will be admitted directly to co-op. If not, we will look to see if you're eligible to the four-year honors degree. And then during your first year, you can apply into the more competitive uh, option of entering co-op at a later time. But again, always apply to co-op. Let us determine um, if we can admit you directly into it. If you're not going into co-op and maybe you're like Alex and you're choosing a different path where you're going to be involved in other ways, um, there are many opportunities uh, for you to work 
on campus or off campus part time during the school year, as well as full time when you're not in class so during your winter break summer break and so on. So many support systems are available on campus to guide you and to make sure that you're aware of all of these opportunities. And Experience Guelph is our website where all these different job opportunities will be posted for you to review as well as apply for, uh, plus many other external opportunities as well. So as I mentioned, large enough to have a lot of opportunities, but we're also small enough to allow you the opportunity to really make strong connections right from the get-go. So during um, our opportunities to connect you with our staff. So at the point of an offer, you will be connected with our GPS team or global pre-arrival support team. They're not only here to support you during your um, study permit application, but also they will be hosting webinars that are important to you at the time of year where you're focusing on different um, steps in your journey of attending the University of Guelph. So it could be, how do I, um, I've accepted my offer, what are my next steps, what are the upcoming deadlines, how do I apply for residence, how do I pay for my residence deposit, how do I select my courses, what do I pack in order to bring um, with me to the University of Guelph, so the GPS team will really guide you throughout the process. And once you arrive to campus, not only are we going to welcome you to the university and provide you with ways to get involved, but throughout your journey and throughout your years on campus, we will have the international student advisors to support you with anything. Um, so it could be housing, it could be employment opportunities, um, study permit questions, and anything else that might impact you on a, on a daily basis. As Alex mentioned, we also have Start International. So this is an orientation program specifically for international students. So this um, September, I should say August, September, we had approximately 600 international students um, join the actual events that were held on campus. And that would be any international um, first year students, transfer students, students on exchanges that are coming to us from other parts of the world for a semester or for a year. So it's really an opportunity for you to meet students who are joining us from other uh, parts of the world, who may be from your country, from your region, who might speak your language uh, or be going into your program, just to be able to make those connections right from the start. And then of course, we have the full-fledged orientation week, which is open to all of the first year students attending the University of Guelph. Um, we will also teach you where do you go to open up a bank account? How do you set up a phone plan? Uh, where do you go shopping? Um, and everything else that you might need to know about the University of Guelph, as well as the city of Guelph and our amazing um, community. When it comes to residents, all international undergraduate students are guaranteed a space in residence. Um, so what I would definitely push for is make sure that you apply for residence and pay your $750 deposit by the deadline, which is June 3rd, 2024. So it is imperative that you uh, accept your offer of admission to Guelph, apply for residence and pay the deposit before that June 3rd deadline to receive the guaranteed space in our residence. Uh, we also have international Unibuddy student ambassadors on our campus. So these are our current international students who are here to support you throughout your journey. Um, so the way I like to see them is more so like your big brother, big sister. Um, they're current students who are going through um, the same process and they've gone through the same process that you're going through right now. They can guide you, uh, they can speak to you about their experience with um, where their favorite residence is, favorite places to eat, um, their favorite professor, um, different things that they have been involved with on campus, and just answer those questions one-on-one -on -one, uh, to ensure that maybe if you're not so comfortable asking a staff member, that you have someone who is here on campus uh, as a current student to support you throughout your journey and answer any one of those um, questions that you're really interested in finding out more about. So when it comes to applying, um, the one key thing I would like to start with is um, if you are a Canadian citizen or a permanent resident and you're living anywhere in the world, you will be required to apply through the Ontario University's Application Center, or we call it the OUAC. If you're going to be an international fee-paying student, so applying for a study permit, then you have three different options when it comes to applying. So you can apply directly to the University of Guelph through our website. If you're not applying to any other university in Ontario, um, the website application is also a direct application to our Toronto campus, the University of Guelph Humber. 
Um, if you are planning on applying to other universities in Ontario, then you can apply through the Ontario Universities Application Center. And if you're planning on applying to universities in the United States, then you can actually apply through the Common App. So the University of Guelph will be available for you to select on there um, as a choice. Now, one key thing is you can apply to up to three different programs or majors at the University of Guelph. So, you know, we have nine options with the, in the Bachelor of Commerce degree program. So you could apply to three different majors if you're not 100% sure as of today what you'd like to do. If you are eligible to multiple programs or majors, you will receive an offer to all of them. And then it is up to you to choose which one you are going to accept. So when it comes to our process in regards to deadlines, um, dependent on if you are studying in Canada versus outside of Canada, your response deadline to your offer of admission will be different. So students who are studying um, in high school within Canada, you will have until June 3rd, 2024 to accept your offer. And then students who are studying in high school outside of Canada, you will have until May 1st, 2024 to accept your offer. So all of this will be included in your offer letter and um, there will be many opportunities for you to contact us if you have any questions. So when it comes to your timeline, so the things I really need you to remember is January 15th is the early admission application deadline. And what does that mean? We're encouraging you to apply as early as possible to submit all of your required documents so that we are able to evaluate your application and provide you with information on all of the different programs and majors that you're eligible for. Um, also, January 15th is a great opportunity for you to focus on the January 25th deadline for the Dr. Franco J. Vaccarino President Scholarship. So that was the scholarship that is valued at $42,500 over your degree. Um, so that means that in addition to the entrance scholarships, you would be considered for the President Scholarship as long as you apply to the University of Guelph, submit all of your documents, apply for the scholarship and submit all the required uh, documents for the scholarship application by January 25th. The March 1st application deadline is the overall university application deadline. What that means is that if you apply after March 1st, we cannot guarantee you a space in all of our programs and majors, even if you have the grades. So what that means is even if you're not applying for the president scholarship, your absolute deadline by which you should apply to the University of Guelph is March 1st at the very, very latest to ensure that if you're eligible, that you have the opportunity to receive an offer to any and all programs that you have applied to. And then, as I mentioned, May 1st for students studying outside of Canada is your deadline to accept your offer. And then June 3rd for students studying inside of Canada is your deadline to accept your offer of admission. When it comes to learning more, our website is extremely um, inf informative. So there is a lot of information that we're covering on the website to ensure that you can make informed decisions. Um, you can also, as I mentioned, connect with our international Unibody student ambassadors who will be um, able to connect with you one on one, as well as you can set up virtual appointments with our international recruitment and admission team. So if you would like to set up a virtual appointment just for yourself or for you and your friends, you and your family to just discover more, to learn more about what we talked about today, um, and for us to be able to guide you throughout this journey of discovery and decision-making, um, then you're more than welcome to set up those appointments online uh, with us and to connect directly with us. Um, there's no limitation, so you might connect with us today to find out are these the best choices for you to apply to and then connect with us later on during the cycle um, to find out which one of those options that you've been admitted to would be the best fit for you. Uh, ultimately, at the University of Guelph, we're all about fit. We want to be your home away from home. We want to be uh, the place where you're able to grow and thrive and really develop um, as an overall person. And we provide you with a lot of those opportunities, um, especially also in addition to those clubs and associations, if you end up living in residence, you can live on an international floor, an academic floor, and so on. So a lot of different ways for you to really discover all of these great opportunities that the University of Guelph has to offer. And one thing I wanted to also mention before we go into ways that you can connect with us, 
um, is that we are giving away over $25,000 in tuition credits. So at the very end of this webinar, if you are watching us live, you will have an opportunity uh, to fill out a form in order to put your name towards the, um, the tuition credit um, opportunity. So if you're attending today's webinar live or any of our upcoming webinars live, if you attended any of the previous ones, as well as the International Virtual Open House, which is scheduled for Saturday, January 20th, 2024, in addition to any of our spring online webinars that we're going to be hosting, your name each time you attend live will be put into a ballot box. And then in April, we're going to pull 10 names of students um, who will be eligible for our tuition credit. So um, there are a lot of opportunities, again, to add to those um, funds to be able to um, cover the, the cost of education, in addition to all the great opportunities we mentioned earlier. And last but not least, how do you connect with us? So you can visit our website and find out all of our um, information on there. You can follow us on social. So if you're not already, it is definitely a great opportunity to learn a lot about the entire university, what we're doing, what we're striving for, and different ways that you can get involved in person as well as, of course, virtually. So definitely follow us um, on social. Last but not least, I'm going to pass it back to Alex, and we're going to focus on any questions that you might have for us. Um, so Alex, off to you. Great. Thank you so much, Astrid. So I'm just going to mention, I will paste the link into the chat after our Q&A for you to enter that tuition credit incentive. Um, so you can watch for that link in the chat at the end of this. But I also wanted to emphasize, we're going to go into a little bit of a Q&A right now. If you have any questions for the group or for a specific student that you know is on the call, feel free to add that in the Q&A. I have that open here and I'm just looking there. So if you have any questions for the group, um, we've already had a few come in, so I'm going to start with those. Um, and we'll see who's interested in answering. So the first question is, what do you like most about living in Canada and the city of Guelph as a whole? So is there a student who would like to answer that? Jazz, do you want to talk a little bit about, yeah, if you want to share yeah. more about what you love about Canada and the city of Guelph. Thank you. Yeah, so first, let's start with Canada. Everyone's really friendly here. I've found that I can go up to strangers and talk about things. That was really nice. And then for Guelph, it's it's really a, I feel like it's like a school town and everything is really proximate. There's good connections with the trains, buses. There's really a lot of good places to eat, bunch of Indian restaurants. And I found living in Gulf is pretty good. It's not like a big city, but not even like a small town. It's in between suburb. So I really like that. That's great. Yeah, I know when I was first starting at U of G, I really liked it because I could kind of spend first year really discovering campus and all the supports on there. Because really, if you didn't want to leave campus, you wouldn't have to because all of the resources are there to support you. You can get food on campus. We have incredible dining facilities and all of those great things. But what I loved is in first year, I really got to know campus well. And then in my upper years, I really started to explore the city um, and really go beyond that as well. So there's opportunities to do a little bit of both that way. Um, the next question that I have here are what resources are available at the University of Guelph for international students? Um, are there any supports that you've reached out to or kind of resources that you found really helpful? I know that the BCDC, the career development, is a great one um, for accessing for employment. Um, are there any other resources that any of you have connected with on campus that you found helpful? Huang, I'm curious, now that you're towards the end of your degree, closer to the end, do you have any experiences there that you'd be willing to share? Uh, I think there's a lot of resources on campus that I like. Uh, I think one of my most favorite ones is just uh, you can book appointments with career advisors to have your like one-on-one -on -one meeting to get personalized advice. And I actually did book an appointment with Kate who helped me uh, craft a really good resume. So I think that helped a lot because as an international student, there may be certain things in the Canadian context that I don't really know. And so it's super helpful to get an idea of a Canadian professional like Kate. 
That's great to hear. Yeah, thank you. I know in my experience as a teaching assistant as well, um, if English is not your first language or you're still working on developing those skills, we also have great resources for that as well that I thought I'd mention. So within the library, we have writing services. Um, so they're not going to write your paper for you, but if you need support with language and how to make your ideas make sense on paper, um, we have lots of resources there as well to support you. So that's another great thing to keep in mind. Um, another one I really like to promote is our supported learning groups. So in some of our largest courses on campus that may be known to be a little more challenging, we have additional study sessions and supports that are offered by upper year students. So that mentorship, that guidance and gaining that perspective is really valuable. I know we have it for sure in our first year economics courses. So if you're not as comfortable with economics, I know I wasn't necessarily right when I started, but gaining that support and that guidance is really helpful so that you can do well in the midterms and the assignments there. Uh, the next question that I have that I'll throw out to the group is what are some suggestions that you would give to international students? Um, maybe we'll just start with right now. So if you're a student who's just looking at universities, what advice would you give kind of knowing where you are right now? Misha, I'm curious if you want to share a little bit about that, being that you kind of just started here at U of G. Um, what are some things that you maybe wish you knew when you were applying or some things, some wisdom that you would share? Well, I think as an international student, there's not much that we find out like online. But now that I'm here in person, I can say that socializing as much as possible is very important because I was very scared that I won't be able to find my group or find a group of friends. But I would also say living on residence has given me that advantage. I've gotten the chance to connect with everybody on my floor and also being a part of volunteering opportunities or clubs has given me the chance to, you know, connect with people. So I think that's how so far I've made the most out of my university career. And uh, even before coming, I think just letting go of that fear factor, because that was something that I would say, especially during orientation week, that was holding me back. I was a little hesitant. Um, so yeah, Canada is a very welcoming country. The university is very welcoming. So my current advice to international students would be that just don't be afraid. I think uh, go out there and have fun. That's great to hear. Yeah, I know one thing I always remind students as well is, First year is a new opportunity for everyone. So whether you're studying at a high school in Canada or you're joining us internationally, pretty much everyone coming to U of G doesn't know many people, if any at all, and everyone is looking to make friends and meet new people. So you will have so many opportunities as long as you're willing to put yourself out there and say hello to someone, you will make friends and you'll meet people. And there are lots of opportunities for us to support you with that as well. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, Huang and Jazz, did either of you have something to add? Kind of if you, things you wish you knew when you were applying or things that you would reassure to international students who are considering U of G and Lang? Yeah, I would like to mention when I was, before I was going to come here, I was worried that I'm going to miss my home a lot. However, that wasn't the case. I came here and I got into a bunch of clubs and connected with a lot of people. And with the schoolwork, you don't really get the chance to miss the home a lot if you're well connected with people. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Just come here and connect with other people and you'll be fine. That's awesome. I'm curious, did everyone else have the same experience that way or a similar experience? I'm seeing some nods. So yeah, you can. Misha, did you want to jump in? Yeah. Well, I was also very afraid that I'd miss home a lot because I am very, very attached to my family. And then there's that time difference, which was kind of um, scary. But uh, I think what Astrid had mentioned earlier, this is home now. For me, at least, Guelph is home. And uh, I don't miss my family. There are times I think that homesickness is very like frequent. But because of how occupied I am over here with attending events or even I would say the workload which the workload is very manageable at least in the first year um I'm not upset I'm happy here I would say yeah that's good to hear yeah I know and it's it's definitely healthy to be homesick sometimes and to be thinking about home and we absolutely yeah. want to encourage you to keep that in mind and we'll support you we have international student advisors to support you with those aspects as well which is a great resource for you um, but those things are healthy as well so it's okay to have those feelings but we're going to support you along that journey and making sure that you have lots of opportunities to get involved and really feel like home is here at U of G which is great to hear 
All right, well, I'm not seeing any other questions coming up in the chat for us to answer here. Are there any last minute tips, words of wisdom, things you'd like to share from our three international student presenters here today? Anyone have any final words for the group? Great, I'm not seeing any, so we'll leave it there. Hopefully this gave you lots of insight and I would say always remember the conversation does not stop here either. Um, so we're definitely happy to chat with you more. Um, here are the socials for Lang Business in particular. So on Instagram and Twitter, um, you can follow us to stay in the know really on how we are using business as a force for good in everything that we do. Um, seeing that international student perspective and kind of the whole atmosphere and culture that we have here on campus. Um, and remember, if you have any questions, you're always welcome to reach out, send a DM to Lang Business or to at U of admission we'd be happy to chat with you use any of those resources that Astrid mentioned earlier um, and we'd be happy to support you with that so from there I'm going to paste a link into the chat right now so you can enter that to verify that you attended today um, and enter to win that tuition incentive as well so thank you for joining us um, feel free to register for more webinars if that interests you as well we do have a few more running this month um, and hopefully we'll see you in future webinars and on campus next fall thank you so much everyone enjoy the rest of your day